What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you're finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. Uh, midweek haul time, which to be honest, I can't remember what I bought, so um, this is going to be a surprise to you guys as much as it is to me. Uh, apart from the bits that I bought today, believe it or not, I do remember those bits. So, we're probably going to start off with what I bought today and then just dig around in the crate until we, we get to the end. So first up is, uh, this was bought today, this is from... Sesame Street, I believe. Uh, what was it? Henson Associates. So, 1986 Rainbow Rainbow Toys. I'm fairly sure this is maybe Muppets. It might be the Muppets. If anyone, I'm going to have a quick Google search anyway. And he's missing his nose, which is really annoying. I don't know whether him missing his nose makes him more cute or not. But this was a whopping one pound, which I would imagine it's got to be worth more than that, surely. So yeah, 1986, was it? 1986. Henson Toys, Rainbow Toys thing, quid. Now this guy was also a pound and he is absolutely adorable. Now, I did get his name. I think it's Smooch. Now I've only seen the, the white version of this for sale on Etsy in the USA for well over a hundred pounds. Now, I'm gonna email uh, the guy who's selling the white one and ask if the brown one is worth about the same amount. Um, and then hopefully they'll be able to point me in the right direction. But I can't find anything uh, price-wise on what this guy's actually worth. And he cost me a pound as well. He is 1982, uh, Gund Incorporated, uh, made in Korea, made out of polyester. But yeah, super cute. Um, nice and looks very sad as well, but yeah. Possibly a bolo. I'm supposed to be slowing down on clothes, which I, I've not done. I've bought a super dry t-shirt, shirt, sorry. Uh, I paid a pound. It's in fairly decent condition. It's a pound. It's from Scope. It's, it's scope near me. Everything in there is essentially a pound. That's where I got the two teddies from and the next four items or so. Next up is, oh, it is, what is this one? Jack Wheels. Um, fabulously British red and oh, this is like um, where's Wally type of bloody shindig. So yeah, that was a quid as well. This is size large. I can't remember what the other size was. So yeah, that was a pound. Next up is oh, we got red. It is I think this is super dry again. Super dry. Is it super dry? Yeah, super dry. Limited edition uh, vintage goods. Reworked classics, nice thick t-shirt, paid a pound. Next up is, this is not, this is Soul Calibur. Uh, small, very small by the looks of it. No, just small. Uh, yeah, paid a pound. Quids in surely. Paid 10 pence for a bag. This was bought this morning. It is Spawn versus Violator. It is all in there, you just can't quite see it. Now the Violator has got, uh, I think it's the, the right arm and leg, which is detached. So I'm gonna nick someone else's pictures to begin with and then picture it separate so you can see it's all dismantled because I don't really wanna start using glue and things like that. I paid three pounds, had a word with the lady uh, in this particular shop that she runs. She gets sent all of the toys because apparently the other branches in a nearby area don't sell half as many toys as she does. And I told her why, it's because the, the nearest branch, which is on the other side of town, uh, they all price up the toys three or four times what this lady's selling them for. Bear in mind, she's getting like three pounds for that, which to be fair, isn't that bad. I'm probably going to just make, what, 10, 12, maybe 15 pounds, an absolute push for this, which, I mean, there's most made, made in it. It's not extortionate, I don't think. But she's obviously getting a good turnaround. Um, so yeah, I, I don't quite know what the deal is there. But yeah, I paid three pounds for that one. More clothing that I said I was never going to buy again. This is from Sue Ryder. This was three pounds. It is a double XL. Double XL. Now I don't know the age of this. I'd imagine it can't be that old. Um, but it is Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts. Fairly good condition. Um, I've got to find this exact t-shirt online, which is going to be fun. But yeah, that was three quid. Another Sue Ryder pickup. It is an Oakley 
t-shirt and this was three pounds fifty chances are this might actually be staying i this was 4.99 from uh, one of my favorite local ones absolutely adorable i'll have to double check with the wife first to see whether she wants to keep it or not but it looks really really cute um it's still got the tags this was 23 euros when this first came out i would have thought disneyland paris but yeah really really cute possibly keeping got a pair of diesel shoes from a charity shop which i don't go into very often because it is very expensive uh generally speaking you're looking at four pounds for ps3 game that sort of mark uh, they did have a sign up saying that all men's clothing was 50 percent off apparently shoes did not come into that character a category so i paid 15 pounds for this pair of men's uh, diesel boots which have a zip down the side fairly decent condition you can tell from the the bottom that they aren't very well worn at all so shoe cleaning to be done uh, i might give these a bit of a polish up as well if i've got any brown polish in the house which i don't know i've just seen that might actually be bloody oil marks on it did not see that which is really annoying uh, i may just about break even on these RSPCA shop uh, paid £2.50 for a bag of Playmobil bits. Looks to be some sort of a wintry ski re resort sort of thing. Uh, I bought two bags. There was this one and this one, which appears to be some sort of a Texaco slash shell garage. Uh, these are from the 70s or 80s by the looks of it. So yeah, this again was £2.50 for the bag. Then I bought some more Magic the Gathering cards. These were a pound a pack. Now these are... Um, I presume it must be some sort of a set deck now I've got to try and find oh yes that helps quick reference well it may give me no with it I don't know 2017 quick reference I don't know what's going on as I said I really don't do magic cards um, so that doesn't help at all there's another booklet here uh, hello and welcome uh, blah, 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 Try out Planeswalker deck. Okay, that's helpful. Planeswalker deck. So this has a Shivan dragon. Shivan, 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 Um, yeah, it's got one of those in. It's got two playable decks in basically each one of these boxes. This has Garrick's horde. I've got no idea what the hell is going on. It means nothing to me. So I've bought one or two of these boxes. Um, I say one or two. I think I bought like seven. Uh, so there's that one. Uh, we've also got uh, that one. That was a pound, again, from the RSPCA shop. Uh, that one. I think that's the first one I showed you. I, I don't know. A fire deck. And a water deck, a wind deck. I've got absolutely no idea. As I say, magic was never really my cup of tea. So I've got to try and find the details as to what these actually are. And I've just seen there's actually a printed code on the side of the deck. Because as far as I'm aware, the decks don't normally go out like this. They're normally in a slightly bit of larger packaging. But I don't know what the decks were like in 2017, which is really not helpful. So again something to go through and to try and and check or i might just put them straight on auction absolutely no idea so yeah this week didn't pick up a great deal not not by any shot the the sort the sad dog toy is potentially worth a an obscene amount of money for a soft toy as i said i've got a message the the guy on etsy uh no doubt it's going to be a couple of days delay on that due to time differences and the weekend. Uh, what else happened? There was the notoriously expensive um, shop around the corner for myself. Um, it was selling a Rocketman DVD. You know the Taron Edgerton uh, film that came out relatively recently? £6.95. And uh, that's been sitting there for a week. I think it went out Sunday of last week and today's Friday. And it's still there. Um, still got the Wii games. Um, they're still there. Uh, yeah, there's. I just. I, I know people get annoyed at me moaning at charity shops trying to make a profit. But six ninety five for Rocket Man on DVD. Do you not think that's a little bit excessive? 
uh, me personally i do um yeah there, there's no money in stock for charity shops if you think it's worth that amount of money stick it on bloody ebay every charity shop has an ebay store we know you do stick it on ebay don't put it in the bloody store keep the cheap stuff in the store for us but yeah, as I, I was speaking to the lady who I got the spawn thing off and um, I'm going to start chatting for a while now, so just be warned. Uh, and she was saying that she leaves like a price guide for when she's not there. Um, she has two days off a week and there's a price guide for clothes and things like that. So certain uh, brands will come under a certain price bracket. There was a nice Tommy Hilfiger blazer uh, for a tenner, but it had some loose um, stitching on the front. It looked to be legit. I mean, everything inside was fine. It just like it had a couple of snags on it, which is really annoying. I went to a, a different one where there was it was a really nice long overcoat, which was a tenner. I almost bought it. I hang it, uh, hung it up on the wall to check it over, and there was like a very slight burn on the back. Uh, that would have been 30, 40 pounds, uh, pounds profit on that, but with the it wasn't a full on burn. It's like the the top layer of the of the wall had disappeared melted away for some bizarre reason uh or it it was gone anyway it just didn't look right so and it was a really nice overcoat actually uh not quite my size but that was a tenner i rejected that what else was there there was a load of jeans which she was doing 10 pound a piece for but the signal is absolutely terrible in this particular shop as in there is nothing it's not even like there's certain parts of the shop where you may be able to get a signal. It is a complete dead zone. So there was three or four pairs of trousers at around a tenner each. Really good condition um, from what she was saying. The guy who brought them in, or the guy's mother who brought them in, he worked at a uh, outlet, which is round the corner, ish, kind of round the corner um, from where I am. So which hence why he brought in like loads of Tommy Hilfiger bits because he would have paid next to nothing for them anyway, especially if he was working in that particular shop. But yeah, nothing spectacular. It's really annoying. We've got another bloody storm. We've got Storm Jorge, uh, who has come over from Spain. Um, so we've now got constant rain and that's been going on since... What time I leave this morning? I know it's raining last night as well. So it's been raining for like coming up to 24 hours straight, which is okay for us because we're quite landlocked. So there's no rivers or, or lakes or anything near where I am. It's just, yeah, I feel sorry for those who, are, who aren't who are as fortunate um, location-wise as what I am because it's bloody horrible out there. It really, really is. Uh, I finally managed to sort out some bits on Amazon. For some bizarre reason, Amazon has been sitting on a parcel of mine which has got like two, three hundred pounds worth of stock in it, and it's just sitting there, and nothing's been bloody done about it. I had another box that was returned to me, which I've just sent back. Uh, by the looks of it, today um, at twenty past twelve, uh, for the very first thing, uh, they said, "Yeah, we've we've, we've had it." Uh, we're now going to sort out your inventory. It's like, oh, thanks. It's not like I, I've been sitting on that since freaking November. Um, so, yeah, it's just lots and lots of things going on. And I could do with, I don't know, time just standing still for a week. That would be nice. And I've just been moaning for a good five minutes. So I think I'll leave it there. And thank you for putting up for my my slight venting. Um, it's like free therapy, I suppose. Um, which in theory the the adverts are paying for so as always thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you lovely lot in the next video good gaming and happy collecting adios